This is for my persistent subscriber that has been requesting a full face of Hourglass. I see you, I hear you. I had to get ready for a different video today and I was like thinking about what I wanted to use to get ready and I was like, perfect opportunity to do a full face of Hourglass. If you guys don't know, Hourglass is one of my favorite brands so I had fun pulling all of their products out of my main collection over here and I have I got a lot to say about these products I mean for the most part like I love them so I just know I'm going to love the way that my makeup turns out so thank you to this subscriber for requesting this video always feel free to request videos in the comments ones that I like I do write them down and on a rainy day I pull that list out and see what I want to film so here we are I will have all of the links to all of these products down below. I don't have everything from the line, but I would say I got most. You're barely going to notice anything is missing. So the glow on my face, you guys see, this is not Hourglass, but I do have my Super Goop glow screen on, and we're going to continue from there with our foundation primer. Hourglass has a few primer options. I only own one. I've tried two, uh, but this one is so good. This is the Vanish Airbrush Primer. I highly recommend this if you want something that's soothing, smoothing, hydrating. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this to the center of my face. And I truly do feel like this does help smooth the texture on the face. And again, for somebody like me with dry skin, it leaves a really hydrated feel. For a while, this was a hot, hot commodity in my videos. I went through a phase, you know, I was recommending it. Of course, for the Sephora sales, monthly favorites, primer favorites, this has been in those and it still stands as one of my favorite primers. The way that it feels on the skin is just so delish. Hourglass has a good number of foundation options. So I love their like skin tints and sunscreens. I don't know if they phased this one out, but this Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint was amazing. And then they recently launched the Veil Hydrating Skin Tint, also amazing. In terms of fuller coverage, they have a foundation stick, which that one is not my favorite. It's a little too full coverage for me, but I do like mixing it with a serum and then it's a beautiful product. But I would say... The most luxe complexion product that they have in terms of foundation slash base is the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. This is amongst my all-time favorite foundations. It's so beautiful. I think this shade's going to be a little dark for me right now, but we're still going to use it. And Hourglass Loki has some amazing brushes as well if you've never checked them out. So I'm going to start off with the foundation brush. Mine's a little dirty, so it might need a little help of a sponge. I'm disgusting. I don't know why I haven't washed this one in a while. So I do have the shade 7.5 right now. It's a bit dark for me, but we're still, we're going to use it anyways. And I just love the way that this brush spreads product. And do you see how just smooth and soft it looks on the skin? It becomes one with the skin. It's a soft matte finish which I know right now glow is really, really in, but at the end of the day, for like a soft matte finish like this, especially if you are oily, this is just going to wear better. And then throughout the day, it's going to look better as your natural oils start to come through. And don't get me wrong, I, I like the glowy look too. I've been having fun with it. But in terms of what's flattering and smoothing, if you have textures and pores, a finish like this, will always be best. It will always be the most smoothing and I think sometimes we can forget that with glowy products being super trendy right now. Hmm, I think I might need to order this in a lighter color because I am not this tan anymore but I do love this foundation. Now as far as concealer, Hourglass does only have one concealer. It's their Vanish Concealer. I'll be honest, this isn't my favorite concealer. Though despite it not being my favorite concealer, it's a favorite concealer of many. So I'm in the minority here of not liking it. It's just a bit too thick for me. I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't smooth my under eyes. They have so many different foundations. I'd love to see them come out with a little bit of a thinner, more hydrating under eye concealer. They also do have, by the way, a concealer brush, which is amazing, which is kind of like a mini version of the foundation brush. 
I have mine in my brush drawer right now of clean brushes and I just didn't want to pull out another brush to get dirty before I wash the ones I'm currently using but I do love that one so for me when it comes to this concealer especially on the under eyes less is best so that it doesn't look as textured or thick on my under eyes but I did apply the concealer more to the center of my face so that I could brighten up the areas that are just a bit too dark from the foundation. I'm going to take a Rem Beauty sponge and just smooth everything out. This concealer is pretty cool, full coverage, I've got to say. It's been a while since I've used it, but... And then to set the skin, Hourglass has the most beautiful powder. It's the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And what is so gorgeous about this product? It's one of a few powders that lets the natural glow of the base that you put down kind of show through. Even though right away it does set the makeup so that obviously with it being powder, it will mattify a little bit. But as the day goes on, that finish that was left with your base products will come through. So it's not one that's going to completely change the finish of the products that you put underneath. So it's pretty much what I would say like an undetectable powder, which there's not a lot like that on the market. So while this is expensive, it's such a unique formula that especially at more affordable price points is really difficult to come up with something similar. For eyebrows, I'm using the Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. Brushing my brows up. They do have a couple brow pencils in the line. This is the only one that I have. It's really nice. I have the wrong color though. It's a little too light, but it is super fine. I think that this is really good quality. I mean, you don't need to spend a lot of money for a good brow pencil, so value-wise, not the best value but it's a good brow pencil. They also do have a brow gel. I don't own it, so I'm just gonna use one of my own brow gels that I like. Okay, and I'm just gonna quickly pop on my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is such a good brow gel. Okay, let's move down over here to the eyes. Now, Hourglass does have eyeshadows. I've never tried them. I think they're really expensive, but they do have a couple other eye products like the Voyeur eyeshadow sticks. These aren't my favorite. I think they're a bit expensive for what they are. Uh, they wear really well. They don't crease, but they're just too sheer for my taste. So there's just other brands that I prefer. They're not bad. And I actually did find that when these were in my speed reviews drawer, I did reach for these a lot because they're super easy to use. Uh, so if you like a sheer wash of color, I do think you'll enjoy these. And then they also have the, these are amazing, the scattered light glitter eyeshadows. If you want an easy pot that has like, sh that will give you shimmer and sheen on the lid. We're gonna use one today, you're gonna see it in action. Love these, these are one of my favorite products from them. So I'm gonna use both. I have the green colors that we're gonna try, olive shades. So I'm gonna use the Voyeur eyeshadow stick in the shade Aurora. And I'm just going to start off by applying this directly to the lid. You see what I mean? That they're just really a wash of color. For me, I like a little bit more dimension, more glimmers and reflex. These are just a sheen. So not my preference, but I, like I said, they're going to wear really good and they're very creamy and easy to blend out. Very good quality. So I'm just using my finger to blend that out. These are great fall colors that I'm going to be using today. When is winter coming? I guess it's definitely still early fall, isn't it? It hit November and I'm like, winter, Christmas. Especially, you know, working in the industry that I do. Holiday season starts really in October for all of the holiday launches. And I'm gonna put this underneath the lash line right here since I don't have any powder shadows. But yeah, you can see how easy that was to work with. And it's gonna stay like this all day and continue to look so pretty. 
And then it also works well if you do want to pair this with powder eyeshadows, you know, to help blend out the crease. This is just a dirty eyeshadow brush that I'm using to soften the edges out here. But for a little bit glam and glimmer to the eyelid, I'm going to use a scattered light eyeshadow in the shade Vivid. So I'm just going to use my ring finger. Guys, I've taken a break from doing my nails and having my press-ons on. Gosh, it's so freeing to have nothing on your nails. I'm not even painting them, so I don't have to worry about them chipping. But you can see this is going to give you so much more wabam on the eyelid. I wanted this shadow stick to be the base here, but I mean, this vivid shade, I forgot honestly how <laughs> how much it gives us. I didn't even think we need a, a base shade. But I'm gonna use my brush again with no intentional eyeshadow on there. There's definitely powder on there from previous uses, but going to soften these edges. And this is just gonna give us an easy fall glimmery eye. Love this product. And these glitters, they don't get creasy. They're very, very thin. So they just feel really lightweight on the eyelid and that's going to help it not crease and last longer. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more on this eyelid because I feel like the other eyelid got a little bit more color. And it's so fine and just luxurious. That's what Hourglass is, you know, just luxury. And that's it for all I'm going to do today for like eyelid color. How stunning is this? Oh, I have things falling everywhere. And it was so simple to do. I've been off of powder eyeshadows. Like I'm so ashamed to admit that, but I've been loving using pots and shadow sticks lately. They've just been so quick and easy and mess free. So yeah. And then they also have eyeliners. Uh, these are the Voyeur Waterproof Gel Eyeliners. These are pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the green theme and I'm going to use the shade Forest. Now I will say these do technically on the packaging only have a six month shelf life. So that's not a lot. So make sure you buy colors that you like and you're going to use a lot if you follow that. I don't. But these I would say are really great because they last a long time, but they aren't the smoothest, creamiest, application it's not difficult by any means but just comparing it like there are smoother eyeliners out there um, so I want to say this one is like the top of my list of favorites for eyeliners but wears really well it's a nice product in the line okay as I was doing this I did remember something I don't like about this you can't sharpen the tip here so yeah, it doesn't come with a sharpener at the end. So it's a little bit hard to get like a really fine point wing. The color stays, it's great in that regard, but I, I struggle to get wings with this because I can't sharpen the tip. Okay, let's finish our complexion. We're gonna start off with our bronzer. And I am so sorry because I know I've talked about these way too much on my channel, but it, that just shows you how much I'm loving it, you know. Complain if you want, if it's too repetitive, but people also complain that I only talk about the brand new products. So you can't please everybody. And these are super good. And I know so many of you guys spent your hard earned money on these. So I obviously want to use them with you guys. So for a bronzer, I think today I'm going to use the bronzer and the jellyfish. So here's my stance with these. I'm, I'm gonna be quick. These are $90. They're very, very expensive. However, if you look up the prices of these individually, because these formulas, maybe not the colors, but these formulas are existing in their permanent line, so much more expensive. These are a much better value to purchase these palettes. I get the same exact formula and a lot of times colors in these. So it hurts to pay $90 at once, but this is truly a formula that cannot be replicated by a more affordable brand. So I'm going to use the bronzer shade in the Jellyfish, which by the way is Lunar Bronze, in case you need the name of it. I'm using a Refer number no. four brush. I normally am using the bronzer from the Leopard one from the Holiday Collection, but this one is still really nice for my skin tone. I wanted to change it up a bit. 
And this bronzer is beautiful. And I am quickly going to place down a cream blush because Hourglass has these Vanish blush sticks. They also have a highlighter. I don't think I own a highlighter from their stick form. And also Hourglass, where are your contour sticks slash bronzer sticks? We would love that. They would sell so well. Reach out to me. <laughs> We need these bronzer sticks. Okay, I'm gonna pick a cheek color though. I really do like these. This one's like pinky peach. Too much, too much. Okay, so we're gonna use the shade Sacred, which is a little more pinky than I wanted it. No, I don't wanna use that, hold on. So we're gonna use the shade Revel, which looks very scary, but we're gonna try and use it very minimally. I'm using a BK Beauty 109 and I'm just tapping literally right on the blush and this is going to give us a really nice subtle color applying it this way because I'm barely pressing on. Don't get me wrong, if you like this color and you have a deeper complexion than me, you can absolutely get this to be much more bold on your cheeks. But I'm going minimal because I am going to put a powder blush over top. But these are a beautiful cream blush formulation. And I highly recommend them. They're a bit, you know what though, these aren't like super unique. There's a lot of really great cream blush sticks out there on the market, so you don't need to spend the hourglass price point. But within their line, these are a beautiful cream blush. But let's hop back into powder blushes because their powder blush formula is one of my all-time favorites. And I think I want something maybe more orangey since I have an orange top. So this is the snake palette that launched this season. It's definitely more geared and suited for deeper complexions. I'm going to use my hourglass brush and I'm gonna get just into a little bit of this color. It's a nice orangey colors. I think, again, hourglass, if you're watching this, hourglass could benefit from more like orange blushes and I don't even like orange blushes like that on me, but there's a lot of like pinks in the hourglass line and I feel like some brown blushes and some orange blushes would be really, really nice. So I'm going to put this right over top. It has an orange hue, which I don't like orange on me, but this one is actually very, very pretty when used minimally on my skin tone. And it's going to work well, I think, with the green. And then for highlight, one of the most beautiful highlights is in the Jellyfish palette. It's this one right here. It's opal strobe light. It is limited edition to this palette. So I'm just going to apply that right here. How beautiful is that? I think a gold highlight probably would have been prettier for this particular look. But I just wanted to show you guys because I think that this highlight is so pretty. I'm actually wanting though, I need more gold. It is a bit white for the look that I'm doing. So I'm going to pop into the snake palette, which you can see I had a little accident with when I was filming my Sephora recommendations TikTok. But this gold highlight is not meant for my skin tone. There's a little bit of a cast it gives, but I'm just going to kind of blend it on top of the jellyfish highlight that I used. Okay, now are you guys ready for my favorite part? of Hourglass in general, the brand. Like, this is the most special powder that's probably not gonna show on camera what it does, but it's going to make everything become one. So I'm going to dig into my Hourglass Jelly Palette, obviously Hourglass, and my Jellyfish Palette. We're gonna use this shade right here, Diffuse Light. I'm using the snake brush that launched for the holiday season. I'm taking it on this fluffy brush and I'm using it to kind of diffuse everything together. It's called Diffuse Light, and it gives the prettiest glow to the cheek, well, to the whole face. Wherever you apply it, it softens everything that you have on your face. And it's something that really is only detectable in real life, but these finishing powders really add that finishing, complete touch to the makeup, and as it's called Diffuse Light, just diffuses everything 
on the face. Then I'm going to use the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. I don't use this very often. Yeah, I don't use it very often. I applied way too much. I did not mean for that to happen. <laughs> it's okay. We're just going to give that a little bit to dry. Mascara Hourglass has this Unlocked Instant Extension Mascara. This is a tubing mascara, so I like to use this on days where I do light makeup, so that way I don't have to scrub on my eyes to get my mascara off, because this comes off with just water in little tubes. Now, I will say it's not like the best mascara. It's not going to give me crazy volume or crazy length. I mostly just use it for that ease of taking it off. Give me a second, I'll show you. The brush is also like a little bit big for my super puny lashes. It builds up a little better than I remember it building up, but anyways, I mean, I don't think it stands out length or volume-wise to other mascaras, but because it's a tubing mascara, it is so lovely to put on, just knowing that you're not going to have to battle with it to take it off. So I'm going to pop on a quick pair of Demi Wispies, and then we're going to pop on our lip and finish up. And then to finish off with lips, Hourglass does not have lip liner, so I use my Pat McGrath in Supernatural. And then I'm using an Hourglass lipstick, which they launched, and then I felt like nobody talks about anymore because what's super popular are the Glossy Balms, which are pretty nice. And these have like a nice minty sensation. It's just these products are a little bit more popular right now, but since they're more popular, I thought we'd go with the lipstick in the shade Alpine. It's just going to be perfect for this look today. And these are just a really solid lipstick formulation. I don't have anything bad to say. They're probably a little expensive just given what you can get in terms of lipsticks on the market. But this is a gorgeous nude shade. I like it a lot. Thank you guys for getting ready with me today. That was my full face of Hourglass. And as I expected, I mean, my skin looks beautiful it looks radiant it looks natural yet perfected really a simple easy eye look i think overall hourglass has a fantastic brand they definitely are a splurge but for the most part i do feel like the brand is a you get what you pay for kind of moment because their products truly give luxury so if you were looking on taking the splurge i hope that this video helped you out and yeah that's all i have for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one